I'm Jenny. I'm McKenna. And, and Brianna is not here. Not today. here. <laughs> um, so we're doing a presentation on Remember the Titans. So as a summary, the setting was in suburban Virginia in 1971, and this was during the time when federal mandated um, required the schools to desegregate. Um, so essentially a white school and a black school were closed and they had to um, all go to one school called T.C. Williams. And the plot line is basically Coach Boone, which is coach of the black team, was made head coach of the um, desegregated teams. And the football, teams be the football team becomes a unifying symbol for the whole community during this time. Now with the character development, we have first off Coach Boone who is played by Denzel, and he presents a tough exterior due to his difficult childhood of having both of his um, parents die within a month of each other and having to raise his siblings. Um, and his background influences his leadership style, which is very aggressive, and he's not wanted at first by the coaching staff whatsoever. And he's considered an outsider, and many wanted him to fail at his job uh, because he replaced the white school's head coach, and he uses authoritative style and power to lead the team to victory. So the second main character is Julius Campbell, who is a young African American player and the unofficial player of, or the unofficial captain of the black team. Um, he's short tempered and very selfish at the beginning of the movie, and he brings balance by never giving up on his team. And he develops by, um, at first he used to push people away, but then he changes once he becomes friends with the white team captain Gary. And now to Gary Bertier. He's the unofficial captain of the white athletes on the team, and he had several conflicts with Julius before befriending him, including their initial fight when they went to training camp and they were forced to be roommates, and debacles on how to lead the team. Um, and towards the end of the film, spoiler, sorry, he, a car accident paralyzes Jerry, or Gary from the waist down, but he was still supportive and continued to lead the team and remained a large player on the team. And so for the ethical dilemmas, we identified two. The first being race and integration, and race and prejudice played a large role um, in the movie, being that uh, obviously a, a white team and a black team were forced to combine in the 1970s, and uh, Coach Boone experienced a lot of prejudice when he moved to a mostly white neighborhood, and a lot of his neighbors said that more of them, referencing the fact that his family was African American, would come into the neighborhood. And um, Julius experienced a lot of prejudice. Uh, Gary's girlfriend, Emma, refused to shake his hand when they first met, but she later changed and shook his hand before their championship game. And uh, Gary's mother refused to meet Julius, saying that she didn't want to get to know him. But the team acted as a catalyst throughout the whole movie, and slowly the community began to, began to change and accept the team. Um, the second ethical dilemma that um, we thought was important in the film was Coach Boone's decision to uh, withhold the players from drinking water during their practice. Now at this point it had been a few days into their three-day training camp before um, school started and we thought it was very unethical because it obviously would um, deter from their or detract from their performance of not having water and it's very dangerous to not be uh, hydrated during um, intense sessions such as what they were going through. Um, and we thought it was very unethical because in today's time period, um, a coach would absolutely be fired or in a very large amount of trouble if parents were to find out that their kids weren't allowed to drink water during a, any type of practice. <laughs> And so that concludes our presentation. Does anyone have any questions?